So for us to finish where we did, um, of course we want to finish and have a better outcome, but where we got to it is really great, you know what I mean? So I, I'm very proud of this team. Last time I was here in the stadium with Coach Saban, they won the national championship. He instantly said, seniors, thank you, and then he turned to next year. What was the locker room like in there moments ago? Uh, pretty much what I just said. Just easy to say that this year was disappointing, but when you look back at how much we've grown, we should be very proud of ourselves. But at the end of the day, we have to learn from this and we have to learn how to finish better, especially when the, the competition gets a lot better. Like that was, that was the number one defense in the nation, for sure. You know, what struggles, uh, not struggles, but you know, what challenges did their defense pose to you guys? Obviously, they were incredible in this game. They, they had a lot of movements and a lot of stunts, and, and overall, they just, they just, they, they executed it. You know what I mean? They had a, um, a good tough hour scheme, and, and they just came out on top tonight. You know what I mean? We made plays, they made plays, but ended up making one, one or two more plays than we did. Uh, you know, Terry on and Jalen and the whole team has embodied this link motto, let all naysayers know, and I think you guys did that being like getting to this game. For sure. Even though you guys didn't come out on the winning end, what does tonight's performance, you know, prove to the country about Alabama football? Yeah, that well, while we didn't have the outcome that we didn't want to have, we're, we're still trying our best to embody the standard, you know what I mean? I said, I talked a lot about the standard after the Georgia game and we kind of got away from it today, so we just got to make sure we get back to it and, and keep that throughout the whole time. Uh, that was a great team out there, uh, a better team winning tonight. Being a leader, how do you get your boys back to that standard mentality after the game? What it is Using this year as an example, you know what I mean? How much we've grown for one, but two, learning from today. Remembering this feeling and letting it drive you from here on out. That's a pretty young team. I mean, you look at all the sophomores coming back. I mean, what's your message uh, to, to some of these guys coming back? I mean, this team isn't going anywhere. Oh, yeah, just remember this feeling. Because uh, a lot of guys come back. Of course, we have a uh, key loss, but I really believe these guys in our position are going to step up and really help us win this year. What did you think of uh, Justice Hands? You got to see him. Obviously, he was going to be nice, but yeah. he's really good out there. I mean, Justice has been doing this since the Sugar Bowl practices last year. I remember looking back uh, when he was on scout team, hearing, ooh, ah, just because he was tearing up the defense. You know what I mean? So everything that Justice does is, is expected, and we're very excited to see him perform next year. Michigan found a lot of success pressuring the quarterback. What did you see from your perspective as an offensive lineman and what went wrong in that area? Uh, they did a lot to challenge our rules. You know what I mean? They had a good tell for our scheme, what we're doing. When we were in six-man protection, we were in five-man protection, and that changes our point. That changes where you have to go if the running back is in or not. So them just having a good tell on what we were doing, um, it, it, that's what – because they were able to make us follow our rules, but then they – I'm sorry. <laughs> they, then they had rule breakers in there as well. But um, that's a, that's just a great football team, you know what I mean? They're the number one defense in the nation for a reason. What did you see on that last play in overtime? What what was kind of the, the play call? What was supposed to be drawn up there? Uh, so the play call was a one-back power, you know what I mean? So from my perspective, I just had a double team to the backside linebacker, and whatever happened behind me is what happened behind me, you know what I mean? What was the biggest adjustment that you guys made protection-wise or uh, just being aware of what pressure you would see in, four, in five and six man protection, changing up the protection, not just being in five man protection the whole time, really just um, switching it up so they can't get a tell on it. Were you more in six man protection in the second half? Or? Yes. I mean, I don't know what you mean by we don't seem upset by the loss. I mean, of course, it's a loss, but while we lost, there's a lot to look forward to next year and a lot to be proud of for this year. Like, of course, and we're expected to win every year, but this is football. You know what I mean? College football is different now. Everybody's good. You know what I mean? So it's just we got to do a lot better job finishing it. But overall, I'm so proud of this team. I think everybody who contributed. Shout out to the seniors and all the guys who are going off for the draft next year. I love y'all. None of this would be possible without you. Y'all have a good night. Y'all get home safe. Thanks, Tyler.